Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. So I'm about to leave my office, my studio office, whatever you want to call it. And I don't really have a lot of time to film and edit because tomorrow I'm going for a holiday away, a weekend away with my family. But before I leave and because I'm about to go to a casting like for some inline skating ad, I had to take my helmet and I had to take my skates. So I thought of showing you something which is let me just get it a different way to to carry your skates. And that would be using your helmet. So basically it's just really it's a really really basic thing. So most of the skates, most of the skates have this little strap on top, right? Nothing new. Now imagine, all you need to do, let me just try to do it again. So, helmet is here, skates, little strap on top, both of them, right? Skates are here, I hope you can see them, I have no idea. Now what you need to do is like helmet strap here, ah. here, close it, and you're ready to go. So now you have no more excuses <laughs> not to use the helmet. So what's their excuse now? <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm trying to use my phone with some lenses. I don't have nothing in my head, which feels kind of weird because I usually have a cap or a, a beanie or anything like that. And today is just feeling weird. But at the same time, I'm trying to have this. Yeah, I got some messages here. <laughs> I'm using my iPad to read the messages. So let me try to read the messages and let me see if I can answer some of the questions before. Oh, let me see that. How can I see this? Ooh, sorry. La, 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 la. I got some messages. Hi, Lino from Santos. Hi, man. Landon, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> so you should get a webcam for live streaming. I use the Canon and use green screen too. It's pretty. Ah, oh, what did it say? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I could do it. I have a. Uh, you see that thing in the back? That black thing? Underneath the black thing, I have a little green screen, so I can play with that but let me just see what else we got here keep reading the messages ah uh, 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 let's read it read it with me hi ricardo what else do you recommend uh i usually use enui uh, i'm on enui pro team and i end up having access to um, to all the gear which i can't really complain i love it there's two elements that i use mainly one of them is the enui bcn which is this one it's a really basic helmet and a lot of times I just just a really basic but it's um, I don't know how you call this thing like I think it's EPS foam or something like that basically really important for you to know is plastic helmet with foam just a soft foam on the inside doesn't protect your head that's really really important you use these you need this type of foam you need to use a helmet that has this type of hard foam. I don't really know the name of it. And they even recommend if you have like a hard foam to throw the helmet away. I know it's kind of expensive, if, but man, who's gonna fall on their head that much that they break the helmet every single time. I don't think that happens that much, but safety wise, that's what you should do. So this is the BCN helmet from Inui. And a lot of times I use it with a little cap. And the cap comes from another from another Enui helmet, which is called the Enui SF helmet. So, the Enui SF helmet, SF helmet is just like a helmet that comes with a with a cap on the inside, and the cap is like the lining, which is super super cool. And the, I end up changing the the cap lining from one helmet to the other. Today I'm gonna skate without any cap. Just gonna skate with the helmet around. If I'm gonna be skating like a marathon, or if I'm gonna be skating more like a like for distance and I need my head to breathe a little bit more than I'll use let me show you, give me a second I got two more here <laughs> so if I'm gonna be 
<laughs> if I'm gonna be scaling distance, then I use this one. I think it's the Power Slide Elite helmet, and it's like super ventilated, and it's it's way more fresh than the other one. So, if it's a hot day outside, I wouldn't scale with that one. Uh, like a lot of people say, like you look like a old man with a bike style helmet. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to make you happy. I'm trying to make myself safe and at the same time comfortable. So these works, it's amazing, I love it. Then other than that, there's this one. This is a sample from Inui. I don't even have foams on the inside and this one had some problems, but check how skinny, this, how slim this thing is. It's like so light and on the inside, it, it also has that same art foam that I told you, but it's a lot, a lot closer to you like it, it doesn't make your head go that big so I love it but this was just a sample and I can't really use it that much I've been using that one the most and that's it let me read more of these messages let me see if I have anything else that I need to read here before I leave to this casting because I'm running I'm almost later huh? uh, I have one year of skating and I have like one year skating and I've ever used skate hmm. sorry I didn't get that I didn't understand that Gi Jockey said, I have like a ear skating and I never use skate. Does, it, does he mean a skate or a helmet? Hmm. Uh, I'm so happy you caught Lino Life representing Africa from Kenya. Yo, what's up, Joseph from Kenya? How are you doing, man? That's cool. I'm getting people from Kenya watching this. I also got Kwan. Never skated without one. Yeah, Kwan. So there's this. There's two. There's two camera products that I use mainly out of my, which aren't my cameras, like little adapters and stuff like that. There's a brand called uh, Extreme Accessories. It's with X, if you Google it, you'll find it. And they have like all these GoPro mounts and they have those things that you can film in the water with GoPro. And Quan is one of the guys that work for them. He also skates, he usually skates with us. I was supposed to skate with him yesterday, but it was super windy and I couldn't go with the baby. So anyway, it was cool. Uh, someone else, someone else, let's see what they say. <laughs> Watching from Hong Kong, Charlie Chung, Charlie. Hello to Hong Kong. That's cool. That's really cool that I got people from Hong Kong watching this. Uh, 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 I only skate. I only speed skate, so it's not that dangerous. Well, it's not about. You never know what's gonna happen. So if you saw the video that I put it out last week, I was just going down the street. Yes, I know I was going the wrong way, and some people was complaining about me going the wrong way. But let me tell you, in my opinion, it's way safer if I'm skating and if I can see the traffic than if I turn my back into traffic. But that's my opinion. Not everyone thinks the same way as I do. But I was just skating down the street, and there was this guy in a car that tried to hit me, and I was I was lucky that I was fast enough to kind of like <laughs> avoid the car but that can happen so it doesn't need to be and you never know when accidents happen so use a helmet I just gave you a little thing let me tell you for all well, for those of you who just started seeing this live stream right now this thing just a bit it's just a different way to carry your skates which is use your helmet you can carry your skates in the handles that they have in the back and your skate your helmet We'll put your skates together and just a different way so you don't have an excuse not to use a helmet. Let me go back to those messages. I was just reading those before I leave. I'm really in a hurry. Sorry, guys. Uh, what else I got here? <laughs> From Oland. Rian. Yay. <laughs> Oland. Oland. What, what else I got here? India. No way. Santu Rahod. From India. Cheers, man. How do you say hello in Indian? In Indi. Um... Landon, Landon knows. Landon is this downhill guy. He skates with me quite a lot. He always uses a helmet. He uses like those funny helmets for the like, like those aerodynamic helmets. And they always skate with a helmet. You you won't see like these downhill guys, those really extreme downhill guys skating without a helmet. And let me tell you, they are smart. So what else? And the Zapulares message is on Ruben. <laughs> Ruben, Ruben Duarte is, is my dude, like he's helping me doing the website for the shop, thank you so much. You guys, again, I said this more than once, please say thank you to Ruben for all the support that he's been giving me since the beginning of this shop. This doesn't look like a shop, this is the back of the shop, it's my studio, so that's what I usually film my videos. On top now, it's those all those little spider things, I don't know if you can see it, that's kind of like where I got like the 
external microphone. I got like a new thing to put the iPad so that I can control the camera from the iPad. It's kind of fancy. That's my bike that I haven't been used that much. I wish I could use more. Those are skates and let me see here. Let me see if I can show you some, ah, you can't really see it. On top here, there's like kind of like my collection of skates, just some of them, not all of them. So let me see what else I got here before I move. Mexico, Rodrigo ET from Mexico. And what else? Trinity videos. Will you make more Trinity? Uh, will you make more Trinity videos? Company comparing skates. Yes, I will. I'm about to get these new skates soon. And once I get this new skate, then I'll make it. Hola to Madrid. And Nicolas from France. Man, this is getting international. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Let me just before I move. I'm really getting late. Ah, I don't really mind that much, but still, let me show you this. You see this? I got a new camera bag. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to organize my shit. My stuff, I can't say shit. So I'm trying to organize my stuff to leave to Brazil next Friday in one week from now. And I'm gonna make my first test this weekend. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going away with my family for the weekend so i'm trying to organize this bag and see how it works so that the 10 days that i'm going to be in brazil i'll be able to make at least one video per day i want to make more than one i have a few ideas of things that i wanted i want to do the thing that it's making me most excited i think is i'm going to be doing a marathon in one of the first days that i get there and if you never heard of bia santana you should go on facebook and look for her Bia Santana, she is, I think she's 27 right now. I don't want to say anything wrong, but basically she is blind and she's going to be skating this marathon. And I want to skate the marathon next to her the whole time, at least as much as I can. I would love to be her guide, but I've never trained to be a, a guide for a blind person. So it would be, it would be really, I, I would be really happy if I could help her, but I know that she already has people who helps her on a daily basis. So I'll try to be next to her and I'll try to show you guys how it is for a blind person to skate a full marathon, which must be crazy. I just huge amount of respect for Bia and I hope you guys follow that thing because I really want to, I, I want to show you guys how a blind person can skate a marathon. Let me see what else I got here before I leave. Um, Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> it's not really working. Okay. Ricardo from Madrid. Da, 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 da. Kenya is great. Seattle! No way, that's cool. I have, I have some friends from South Africa. One of them works for, um, for Microsoft in, and is in Seattle, Seattle right now. Nice bag. <laughs> yeah, I love the bag. Opens in the back and then this bag also opens in front. The main reason why I got this bag is... I made a little video yesterday. Oh, sorry about new gimbals that I got. I got offered offered like three new gimbals. I still don't believe it. But see this bag, I got like, I'll be able to keep the camera on the gimbal, which is not right now, but I'll be able to keep the camera on the gimbal. And then with, the, with this bag closed, with this bag closed, I can just open from the top and pull the camera with the gimbal. On this Brazilian trip that I just told you, I plan on doing my videos with the best quality that i can so i want to use gimbals as much as i can i got gimbals for the gopro i got gimbal for the phone man if i got like stabilizers for all these things why not using them why not use them i'm still a little bit concerned if i should make all my videos in portuguese because i know that i'm going to be in brazil and i'm gonna try to make as much content as i can for the brazilian locals but at the same time, I know all of these guys following my channel, they, will, they would want to understand the video. So I, I still need to find a way. I still need, I still need to, to decide what I'm going to do. I might be doing some of the content in just Portuguese, but obviously with subtitles and some of the content in Portuguese. So we will see what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's see. One last message. Damn it. I really need to leave. <laughs> Can't stop saying this. Sorry, guys. Uh, 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 yo, what's up, Storm? Storm just bought some skates from me. I hope the strap, cause she bought some, she bought some 
USDA ants. And when she first bought them, they didn't have the 45 degree strap. They were a custom made skate. Like we just made a skate around the shop with some parts that we had laying around and we made a cool skate. And I hope that the strap is working for her. Edward, how are you doing? <laughs> I'll be watching it in Portuguese. Yay! Come on, Edward. If it's in English, I'll put subtitles too. If, I'll find a way. I want my Brazilian subscribers and my English talking subscribers to, to follow this thing, this trip that I'm gonna do. I'm super excited about it. So I think uh, Rolling Sports, the shop and the distributor from Power Slide in Brazil, just made a, um, they made a post on Facebook where they say everything that I'm gonna be doing. Let me just read that really fast. Damn it. I can't stop. Sorry. Let me see this. A day with Lino and his iPad. <laughs> Let's do this. So, Rolling Sports. Rolling Sports, Rolling Sports. Come on, internet is slow, man. I hope the internet is working better for you guys and it's working for me, because for me, it's mad slow. So, do, 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 do. Okay, Lino. On the 24th, on the 24th of November, that's the day that I arrived there, they have like urban skating, so I'm gonna be skating with the locals. Then on the 11th, I'm gonna be doing a workshop prayer marathon, and I'm gonna be with a, one of the fastest skaters in the world. I don't think they announced it yet, so I can't really say who it is, but it's, it's the Colombian skater, that's all I can say. On the 26th of November, I'm gonna be doing a marathon, and ooh, I don't know why I'm gonna do that, because later that day, I'm gonna be urban skating with the locals again. Uh, on the 28th, I'm gonna be going to a pump track with off-road skates, something like this. And then, still on the 28th, I'm going to a skate park, Ibira, Ibira Puerta, at 8 p.m. Then on the 30th, I'm gonna be urban skating. On the 1st of December, I'm gonna be street skating. On the 2nd of December, I'm going to be doing a workshop with quads, with this. And on the 3rd of December, the day that I leave, I'm going to be doing a downhill, which I'm super excited. I just saw the... I don't remember the name of it. Wait, let me see if they say... Because they, ch they say secret point, but I've seen the, the spot. I can't, I don't really remember the name of the spot. It looks amazing. There's like a really tight 180 degree turn that you go full speed that you need to slide into it. Other than that, I need to show you something that just happened this morning and then I can leave. Let's see this. Check this one out. Dun, 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 dun. That was amazing. And this is how I'm going to finish this video. This right here. It's my baby girls. <laughs> Jalen is five and a five and a half months old, and this was this morning with mom's skates. <laughs> she, it was the first time that she put her skates. She can't really walk, so I put the skates in the grass so that they wouldn't roll, and she could just step in the skates. I'm obviously not gonna force my kid to skate. She skates if she wants, but. <laughs> I need to put her on the skate, it's just, it's stronger than I am. Okay guys, very cute and lovely girl. Yes, she's super, super cute. Thank you guys, thank you India, thank you Mexico, thank you Kenya, thank you Oland, thank you USA, Seattle, thank you the whole world for keeping, for still supporting this channel and it's not gonna stop anytime soon. So all I can say is thank you. Share whatever I do with your friends, let's make this thing grow. And that's it. I need to finish this now and I might need to get close to the phone now. <laughs> Cheers guys. Have a nice day.